Ballast water is used in ships to provide stability and balance when the vessel is not fully loaded with cargo. It is taken on board in one location and then discharged in another location, depending on the cargo requirements and port of call. Ballast water also provides the necessary weight to maintain the vessel's draft and prevent it from capsizing. Water ballast management systems have been in use for several decades, but their implementation and effectiveness have varied over time. In the past, ships would often take on ballast water at one port and discharge it at another without treatment, resulting in the unintentional transfer of marine organisms across different regions. This practice led to the introduction of invasive species that can have a significant impact on the marine ecosystem, including changes to food webs and the displacement of native species. There have been several cases of environmental damage caused by untreated ballast water, including zebra mussels in the Great Lakes. In the late 1980s, zebra mussels were introduced to the Great Lakes via ballast water from a European ship. The mussels spread rapidly and caused extensive damage to the ecosystem, clogging water intake pipes and damaging boats and other equipment. Collar paw taxifolia in the Mediterranean. In the 1980s, the seaweed collar paw taxifolia was introduced to the Mediterranean via ballast water from Monaco. The seaweed spread rapidly and smothered native species, causing a major ecological disruption. Japanese shore crab in North America. The Japanese shore crab was first introduced to the eastern coast of North America in the 1990s, likely via ballast water from a ship. The crab has since spread rapidly and is now considered an invasive species, posing a threat to native marine species. In response to this issue, the International Maritime Organization introduced the first guidelines for ballast water management in 1991. These guidelines were updated in 1997 to include more detailed recommendations and were eventually codified into the Ballast Water Management Convention BWMC, in 2004. The Ballast Water Management Convention requires all ships to have a ballast water management plan that specifies how ballast water will be managed, including procedures for discharge, exchange, and treatment. One of the earliest and most common ballast water management techniques is the process of ballast water exchange, also known as open ocean exchange. This involved replacing water taken on at one port with seawater from a different location before entering the next port. The process was designed to reduce the number of organisms transferred with the ballast water by flushing out any organisms that may have been present in the ballast tanks. However, this method was later found to be ineffective at removing all organisms and could actually promote the spread of certain organisms that are adapted to low salinity environments. As a result, more advanced treatment methods have been developed, including filtration, ultraviolet, UV, irradiation, and chemical treatments. Filtration systems work by physically removing organisms from the ballast water using a filter. UV irradiation involves exposing ballast water to UV light, which can kill a variety of organisms, including bacteria and viruses. Chemical treatments can involve the use of biocides or oxidizing agents that kill or neutralize organisms in the water. Impact on the environment The discharge of ballast water can have a significant impact on the marine environment, particularly if it contains non-native organisms that can become invasive. Invasive species can disrupt ecosystems, displace native species, and cause economic and ecological damage. The use of ballast water management systems can help mitigate the impact of invasive species by reducing the number of organisms transferred in ballast water. However, the use of certain ballast water management techniques, such as chemical treatments, can also have negative environmental impacts. For example, some chemicals can be toxic to marine organisms and can accumulate in the food chain. As a result, the development and use of environmentally friendly ballast water management systems is an important area of ongoing research and development. In conclusion, proper water ballast management is crucial for protecting the marine environment and preventing the spread of invasive species. With the development and implementation of advanced treatment systems and regulations, we can ensure that ballast water does not harm the delicate ecosystems that exist in our oceans. Let us all do our part to promote responsible and sustainable shipping practices to safeguard the health and well-being of our planet.